Tuesday, you guys. It is 12.15 a.m. I started day one of consecration. And I just been doing a lot of reading. Um, working out of my notebook that I received as a gift. Corner over there where I just kind of like been hanging out. Laying, and just... <clears throat> Y'all, it's so nice to not be distracted you know what i mean it's it feels really good yeah. be on the phone <clears throat> and just really 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 focus and listen to my inner thoughts and read and the stuff that i'm reading is just confirmation of stuff that i've already been thinking or god has already placed on my heart like it's crazy <clears throat> There's nothing new under the sun and God is just so good and he is absolutely true to his word. But um I got to bed last night at 7.55. Like I told the kids, kiss the kids goodnight. I'm like, look, y'all, I'm going to bed. I put on some meditation music and I took my butt to sleep. I am so saturated and tired from like all the information and everything, watching Dr. Miles Monroe, reading, all the anyways. I woke up out of my sleep and I'm like, okay, it was raining and all that. I got my window up and it's just, it's just been a really, really, it's, it's been hard. It's been hard because I want to get on social media and I want to talk and I want to call a couple people just to see how they're doing and how they're feeling and all that. But that's neither here nor there. So I woke up out of my sleep and I'm like, well, it's only like 1130. You know what I mean? Like 1125. And it feels like I've been asleep for an eternity. Like sleep i made tj sleep in his bed with his sisters because he sleeps with me he's just this is my baby he sleeps with me i don't have a problem with it well i have a problem with it because he sleeps so well but i don't have a problem with it because it's my baby <clears throat> and i just want to say nothing changes if nothing changes i am at a point in my life right now where you have to get tired 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 of going around and around with the same people tired of going around and around in negativity tired of going around and around with the arguments tired of going around and around and being disrespected tired of going around and around with being cheated on tired of going around and around with struggling tired of going and around and around trying to make ends meet tired of going around and around you have to get tired in life when you are ready to see a change in your life. I will be the first to tell you nothing is going to change. My weight loss journey, me losing weight, it's not going to change. I'm not going to... Y'all hear that buddy rabbit? It's not going to change. I'm not going to lose this last 70, 80 pounds until you get tired. I'm tired. Okay? This is why I've created the changes in my life. This is why I've created the boundaries. This is why I've set a new standard. This is why, you guys, tired of moving in and out, tired of going up and down with my kids, tired of dealing with the same thing over and over, tired, tired, you guys. So I understand. I get it. I hear we can go round and round all day long, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Until you are good, thoroughly sick and tired of your situation, tired of your job, tired of walking around in a circle like the children of Israel, baby, nothing is going to change unless something changes. And the answer is... <laughs> You got to get tired, okay? Good and tired. Tired of failing relationships. Tired of listening to, you know, yourself talking negative. Tired of being in the same situation. Y'all, I've been on this weight loss journey for years on end. Can only get to a certain point and then stop gaining weight, then losing. Baby, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. 
the relationship that I was in, the marriage that I was in, moving out, taking my kids, picking them up, moving back in, taking them out, going back to the marriage, trying to fight for the marriage, trying to move out, moving out, starting over, coming back. Baby, I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Baby, I'm tired. Okay. Watching my kids suffering, doing all this, going through all this mental, mental anguish, going around in a circle. I'm falling depressed. I'm getting back up. I'm getting down. I'm just, I am tired. Okay. I am ready to see a change in my life and not just a temporary change. I am ready to see the manifestations of God. I am ready to see, even though I've witnessed a lot of things in that Bible come true in my life, I am willing, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm tired. So don't beat yourself up. Here I am, 38 years old. I'm glad y'all can't smell my breath because I'm literally just up recording. I am 38 years old. And it has taken me this long to get tired. And there will be certain people that watch this video and you may be older than me and you may be just now getting tired. Give yourself some grace and give yourself some mercy because each and every testimony and each and every story is created and attached to somebody who can relate to you. So, look, it took me all of this time to get good and tired. And when I say good and tired, good and tired, which is why I'm abstinent, which is why I'm celibate. I got tired of sleeping with different men and it not benefiting me none. I got tired of feeling like I had to give my body away because, oh, you know, my husband still financially provides for me. But in every other area, we don't even speak. We don't even talk. We don't even communicate. We don't nothing. I got tired of feeling less than I'm tired. I am tired of having relationships thinking, Oh, this is the one is my past. And you know, this, and it's not benefiting me any. And all I have is children. I am tired. Okay. So you have to get good and thoroughly tired in order for a change to begin in your life. And if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. Just continue to move forward and continue to keep walking, continue to keep talking to God, continue to seek his face. But there will come a point in time, there is no man, no demon, no devil in hell that will make me want to have sex at this time. There is no man, no woman, no demon in hell that will make me come out of this consecration. There is no man or no demon in hell that will make me want to revert back. Because I'm tired. You have to get good and tired. You have to get good. So if you keep returning back to a relationship that's toxic, or if you keep continuing on in your food journey and, and indulging, and that's, look, you're not tired yet. You're not thoroughly and utterly tired yet you're not tired yet and that's okay because life is about process this is a process this is a process this is a process life is a process and you will be forever learning and forever growing and forever transforming until the day you leave here do you understand what I'm saying? You keep tipping, dipping out. You're not tired yet. You keep accepting him back. Y'all breaking up every week. You blocking him, unblocking him. You're not tired yet. And that's okay. You will eventually get to the point to where you are absolutely tired. I'm tired. I'm ready for a new narrative. I'm ready for the manifestations. I'm ready to see my children mentally healthy after going through this struggle. I am ready. Do you hear what I'm saying? We've been through too much. You've been through too much to give up now. So unless you're tired, thoroughly tired, that is when the change is going to start. That is when the change is going to start. Get 
tired. You have to be tired. You have to be tired of going around and around. You have to be tired of accepting the same thing over and over and over. You have to be tired of continuing in a relationship that you know God is calling you out of because that's the only reason why y'all keep breaking up. That's the only reason why this person keep ending up on block every week. That's the only reason why y'all keep going and around and around and around and around because he is trying to sever that thing and because we won't listen. We have to suffer the consequences of our choices and our actions. But that's okay. It's part of life. So I'm here to tell you this. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some mercy. But if you are looking to change your life, and if you are tired, willing, and ready, that is when God is seeking you the most because he can't do anything with you if you are still attached to the world. He can't do anything with you if you're still so consumed in the news. You're still so consumed with corona, what coronavirus is doing. You're still so, so consumed with, you know, people calling your phone and you answering and talking, having conversations, trying to figure out what was it. Bye. I'm tired. Okay? I am thoroughly and utterly tired. I'm ready. I am so ready. So ready. God has given me vision. I've been had vision. He's given me purpose. I know what I'm going to do in the earth. I know what he is calling me to do. And I am ready and I'm tired of running. And now is the time. I'm ready for financial abundance. I'm ready to be a homeowner. I'm ready to be uh, just walking in my purpose as a mother, walking in my purpose as a sister. And I am, baby, okay? So, you have to get tired is the point of the video video that I'm making. I just jumped up out of my sleep and it just kept, kept, kept. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to turn over and go back to sleep. No, I had to cut on this camera and just say it. I don't know why. I do know why. I had to cut on the camera and say it. Do not beat yourself up if you keep going back, if you keep returning, if you keep doing the same thing, if you keep, that's, that's okay. It's preparing you to get tired. It's preparing you to be utterly tired of going in the same direction and doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. That's why you keep returning. That's why you keep doing the same thing over and over. That's, it's God allowing you to continue on in your, in your, in your, and your silliness until you get tired. Okay? Good and tired. Good and tired. So just wait on it. Have courage. Be of good cheer. Be encouraged. Never give up. Never stop praying. Never stop believing. Your time is coming when you get good and tired. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.